So apparently, John McAfee died yesterday. He allegedly hanged himself from the bunk of his prison cell, and all of the news outlets are calling it a suicide. Uh, for the most part, that's the official story, but it's a little bit fishy. It's almost as fishy as the supposed Epstein suicide, which even a lot of regular people still don't believe. I know it's kind of become a meme at this point, but Epstein's death was so obviously not a suicide. Now, with John McAfee, the reason that we're pretty much given for his suicide is that he was going to be extradited to the United States. So he was being held in a prison in Spain since October 2020 when he was arrested while trying to board a plane to Turkey. Uh, so McAfee, he has been fleeing the law for several years at this point uh, because he pissed off the most dangerous alphabet boy of them all, the IRS. That's right, kids. You can't mess with the tax man. So he made a whole lot of money, first from the McAfee antivirus, of course, everybody knows about that, uh, but then later on with various crypto ventures. And he was also being charged with securities fraud after he pumped and dumped Doge, and then it was another crypto called Redcoin, spelled with two Ds, uh, back in late 2017 and then throughout 2018. So McAfee was really in some deep shit because it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter how famous or rich or powerful you are, how many lawyers you can hire. When the government brings a tax fraud case against you, you're going to lose. Remember, that's how they finally brought down Al Capone. And tax fraud is the kind of thing that attracts the attention of all the feds. It's not like you're just going to get some stuffy accountant from the IRS calling you all the time, telling you that uh, you owe him money. You know, taxes are the lifeblood of the government. Without it, the CIA can't glow, the DEA can't meddle in South America, and the ATF can't raid your house whenever you're hoarding menthol cigarettes or short barrel rifles and then go shoot your dog. And that goes for the agencies that are in governments that we're allied with as well, because of course we have all these contracts and agreements with them, uh, and that tax money goes far and wide beyond US borders. So this is why uh, McAfee, McAfee was trying to go to Turkey in the first place. The Turkish government, they don't cooperate with Uncle Sam, at least not to the degree that the Spanish government does. Uh, so if he went to the U.S., his fate was sealed. Uh, since McAfee was 75 years old, it's pretty much safe to say that he would never be free again. Uh, tax evasion, I think you can still get up to 10 years for Al Capone, he served 11 years for it, if I remember correctly, back in his day. And securities fraud, you can get up to 20 years for. So he was definitely going to be going away for the rest of his life. And this was pretty much the evidence that's given for why he killed himself. And of course, people also bring up the rampant drug use that McAfee did. So he basically had his own lab with a staff of chemists that were making drugs for him back, I think, when he was living in Central America. Uh, so some people are also using that as evidence that he would have suicided since obviously excessive drug use can mess up your mind. And there was definitely changes in uh, McAfee's personality and his demeanor like you can go back and watch interviews of him uh, back when he was doing McAfee antivirus and then you can watch interviews of him more recently like in the past couple of years when he was on different shows and podcasts and stuff like that as a guest uh, and you can just look at the difference right and a lot of people say that the reason for that difference is uh, his brain was like fried out on drugs or whatever now I'm not entirely convinced by the mainstream narrative there's a lot of things about this that stink, so I've kind of shown you the evidence that's in favor of him offing himself. Basically, he was going to spend the rest of his life in an American prison, so he felt like death was a better option. Uh, now, here's the evidence against it. Okay, so we have a tweet from John McAfee. This is on his Twitter, which is still up. You can go verify it if you don't want to trust a screenshot. But this was right after he was arrested in Spain, trying to flee to Turkey. So he's saying that I am content in here. I have friends, the food is good, all is well. Know that if I hang myself, a la Epstein, it will be no fault of mine. But that's literally how he died though. 
So did he change his mind? Did he not want to go and stand trial that badly? And then before this, before he got arrested and went to uh, the Spanish prison and everything, he went out of his way to get a tattoo on his arm saying whacked to signify that if you find him dead, however he is found, or at least if you find him dead from apparent suicide, it was really the government killing him. So he's saying, I'm getting subtle messages from US officials saying, in effect, we're coming for you, McAfee. We are going to kill yourself. I got a tattoo today just in case. If I suicide myself, I didn't. I was whacked. Check my right arm. So now the question is, where is the security camera footage? Where were the guards when this happened? Did the camera footage mysteriously go out and the guards were asleep at the same time when McAfee died, just like in the Epstein case? Because there's no evidence that he was suicidal. He was content in Spanish jail. Uh, there's no reason to think that he would be way worse off in an American jail. The people closest to him, his family and lawyers, saw no signs of suicidal tendencies leading to his death. So we really need to see some camera footage, not necessarily of him offing himself, nothing like that, but to at least know that there was no foul play, to know that nobody else was in the cell with him when he died. It should be fairly easy to produce. It's not like Spain is some third world country that doesn't have cameras in their prisons. We also need to see the results of an autopsy, which is supposed to take place because he apparently hanged himself from the top bunk, just like Epstein did, but usually something like that doesn't break your neck, especially if you're a tall guy like McAfee. So that's that was one of the big smoking guns in Epstein's case, was the fact that uh, he broke his neck and I think his collarbone as well, which wouldn't be the cause of death for something like that. Asphyxiation would be. Uh, then, of course, there's the Q post on the, his Instagram after his death, like minutes after his death was first reported. Uh, so of course, somebody is managing these social medias for him, but his Instagram got shut down shortly after the post was made. But his Twitter account has not been shut down. It's still here. At least it's not shut down as of today. And then there's also this Ether, Etherscan wallet named Epstein with the tracker ID whacked, uh, which matches the tattoo that McAfee had on his right arm, spelling and all. So this wallet started sending um, unknown, basically sending to unknown addresses after being asleep for a long period of time. So, you know, there's a lot of spooky stuff going on right now. And it's hard to tell what's real and what's a mental disorder, but I don't trust the Normie News Networks saying that he killed himself. That is just my gut feeling. Um, now, what might end up being more important than how he died is what he knew when he was alive. So there's supposedly some kind of a dead man switch. Um, <laughs> there, there's a lot of conspiracies going on, but apparently there's a dead man switch. There's supposed to be this dead man switch that's activating that contains all of this information that McAfee apparently had on the elites or whatever. Uh, and that would pretty much have to be true in order for the whole conspiracy of him being killed off to make sense in the first place. You know, that's why the Epstein murder narrative made sense, because he had dirt on the elites. But McAfee was a very tech savvy guy. So, you know, he could have very easily set up some kind of blockchain based dead man switch to spill what he knew about the elites after death. That sounds exactly like something that McAfee would do. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. But that's all I really have for now on this. You know, this happened sometime yesterday evening, so things are still fresh. People are trying to figure out what this dead man switch leak is or if it's even legit. And let's see how the media handles this. Will it get memory hold for the next distraction next week or are they going to continue following this and press people for autopsy results and footage of him in jail before his death? Rest in peace, John McAfee. You will be missed.